Hello everyone, welcome in my channel uh, ASP.NET Web Form. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, show a message when we delete an item in from the delete uh, from the details view. So first of all, design a database table that is uh, the name of a database table is employee and in which you can add the uh, fields. Uh, currently I'm adding three fields. Uh, ID name and the city okay uh, you can see that the identity specification of the ID column is uh, true so automatically updated the ID column with the one uh, seeding data okay so uh, now you can add some item in the database table uh, like in the name you can add some uh, data also you can add uh, according you you can uh, add the data in the database table okay so uh, just after that you can uh, bind the detail view uh, from the SQL data source as well as the IDO.NET technology so uh, uh, I'm showing the both uh, techniques in this video so how to bind the details view uh, using the SQL data source okay but the source are same for both the uh, techniques uh, like the SQL data source and the ad.net techniques so first of all I used uh, SQL data source uh, by using SQL data source control uh, you can uh, you can bind this detail view so use the connection string that is database2.mdf and uh, these are the table employee and use the advanced features like insert update and delete features is also there uh, is also available for the SQL data source test query and finish it okay that's fine now in the source view Okay, show delete button. Okay, that's fine. Remove the source and use the second techniques that is uh, ad.net techniques. So first of all, remove uh, the SQL data source. Also, the uh, uh, the data source ID property from the source menu. Okay, from the source tags page dot is post back bind detail view uh, when the page is not post back then bind the details view and the binding the details view with the uh, adu.net techniques that is string connection configuration manager you know very well about the configuration manager that that file is used to, to pick the connection string from the web.config file so uh, there is your uh, connection string connection string 2 and after that you can use using statements uh, you know very well about the using statements using statements is used uh, where you want to uh, close uh, the, uh, the state of the object automatically just after finishing the task so uh, just after the using statements your uh, connection state will automatically close okay sql command cmd equals to new sql command select start from uh, the name of the table that is employee in the connection string 2 okay and bind the all columns uh, in the detail view also uh, associate the command with the connection that is cone and the command text is also there in the command uh, the sql command and just after that you can also use uh, the using statements for the uh, adapter class sql data adapter da equals to new sql data adapter ok data adapter that is associated with the command and after that you can use the data set to bind the details view data set da equals to new data set ok that's fine to binding the details view uh, with the database table uh, 
just fill the data set and uh, attach the data set uh, with the details view so details view one dot data source is a ds and details view one dot data bind that is the method okay uh, now just after that you can use okay uh, that's uh, create own item created uh, by using this own item created uh, the event that is used to uh, show the uh, details uh, of the pop-up menu that when we click on the delete button then show the number of uh, mess uh, uh, you want to delete that message so uh, first of all get the index row index is detail u1 dot row dot count uh, is minus one if row index is not equals to null then details view row uh, details view row one dot row index dot oops uh, that is not the details view row it's a details view so details view row okay let's find the details view row after that finding the details view row you you can set the button control okay uh, delete button actually uh, the button delete button is finding the delete button from the row so row dot controls uh, and the controls is exist in the zero index dot controls dot oops there is the controls dot controls dot type of of type button uh, the of type is button control and where use the lambda expression to resolve this issue dot b dot command name is delete okay dot first or default okay after getting the delete button you want to press it and show the message so delete button dot attributes that is on click use javascript to show that message so uh, if is not uh, is not confirmed do you want to delete it that type of message you want to show okay and return false if not confirmed then return false okay uh, that is the type of message uh, is uh, apply on the own item created for the details view use on page index changing uh, you can move uh, from one page to the and or you can say the next tuple uh, by using the page index so details view one dot page index equals to new page index so e dot new page index and uh, this dot details view bind bind details view method to call okay and after that you can add the new event that is on item deleting because new event Uh, for using code uh, panel int employee id int dot parts details view one dot one dot rows of zero dot cells dot text cells is the one and that that, that is the text and the rows is the zero so string uh, you can use the uh, SQL co uh, connection as well as the SQL command that is above mentioned. So paste it here. 
open the state of the connection that is open for the communication purpose to the server so using resource SQL command okay guys thank you very much for watching this video please keep watching my all other videos which is related to ASP.NET web form guys uh, please uh, don't forget this please subscribe my channel if you like this video uh, I'm providing you a better video tutorial which is related to ASP.NET web forms uh, I'm sure I will provide you a better uh, projects tutorials as well and uh, you learn many more things about ASP.NET uh, web forms uh, if you if you want to learn ASP.NET MVC, ASP.NET Core uh, 2.0, 2.1, then please uh, go to my channel tab and uh, sh uh, visit my new channel ASP.NET uh, Core, where you learn uh, ASP.NET MVC from beginning point of view, from beginning and uh, okay, guys. that is the cmd.parameters.add with value for the employee where you get the employee id that is retrieved above and uh, emp id and uh, cmd.execute and query this dot details this dot bind details view method okay save this and first of all add a button type as well as the uh, uh, allow paging is true and also the button type uh, with that delete button that is button okay now save this and uh, view your uh, output okay thank you very much